Hello my friends, this is Jonesy Boy here and welcome to my Titan X water block install guide. Now this can also apply to multiple other video cards so please enjoy. First of all, instructions. Looks like we're going to need to remove all the screws on the back here. Now these ones come off with some springs, so make sure you keep track of the screw and the spring. And here's the void warranty screw. To get this block off, you might have to rock it around a little bit. It looks like this one, the screws on the front are still holding it, so I'm going to have to remove those. And there we go. Now we have nice separation. Now here's the thing, you can see right there, there's a cable connected. There's also one on this side. You can see it. So, don't just yank the card off. Be very cautious. All right, I'm going to temporarily, temporarily set that out of the way. Put all the screws back in. <laughs> Alright, now that that's all done, we can pack this away and not worry about it anymore. It's really a good idea to grab out your box because you'll need it. So use some isopropyl alcohol and clean the PCB here. Remember, water cooling is about patience and love. They provide these nice thermal pads that are pre-cut for you for the VRM. Okay, next up we're gonna be cutting a thermal pad. Now what we can do, measure it out by pressing it down. And I'll, that looks like it's picking up on the camera. You can see where we got an imprint here and we can cut right around that imprint. Now that we've applied all the thermal pads, <clears throat> let's do the thermal grease. Here we have the block, it's pretty much prepped and ready to go. Okay, now we have the EK recommended way of applying thermal plate paste to the GPU die. There's no heat spreader on top of the actual die itself. So this is this is the processor die. This is what the heat is this is where the heat's coming from. So it doesn't actually have a heat spreader on it which will reduce the heat. You actually have to make sure it hits all the corners on there, which is why it's recommended that you do it that way. Get nice and down on there. Now keep in mind, if you're doing that on the GPU die, you need, need, need to make sure that you're not using conductive thermal paste because it will get in there and it will short out your GPU.
And see, this is why you read the instructions, boys and girls. Because you might find out that you never found something in the box. Perfect. All right, now let's get this cleaned up. And then we can start working on the uh, motherboard. Thank you so much for watching my awesome Titan X water block install guide. Don't forget to check out my other water cooling tutorial slash build videos that are coming along after this one. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below if you have any questions. Also, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links are down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.